Hi and welcome. My name is uh, Lyle Dilly. Today we're going to be working with Adobe Illustrator CS6 and CC. We're going to be talking about artboards today because, well, because we can. Talking about all sorts of things about artboards, including uh, working with artboards, talking about the pages, um, the uh, moving and modifying of the artboards, the changing the size and shape of artboards, creating and copying artboards, uh, many different ways to do all of this. Uh, I'll show you the artboard panel, show you how to arrange artboards once they're created, and talk a little bit about uh, artboards and rulers and how they're going to apply. Okay? Sounds good? Let's get started. Transition over here to Illustrator. Here we are, wonderful Illustrator. Let's create a new thing and do a little widescreen. Remember, we can change this however we want. All right, so I'm just going to make a box 500 by 500. All right, do my own little custom size as you see 500 points by 500 points. Boom, nice little square. I'm going to control. Negative. See out anymore? This is the artboard. Everything that is outside of this artboard is 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 basically the background, okay? And everything in the foreground is the actual artboard, the white part, okay? Really easy to do this. Remember on this artboard um, that uh, it's. Everything behind, even though it looks white, is actually clear. So whenever Illustrator reads a lot of this, it's going to read it as clear. You can see that when you're looking at, um, you can actually press Shift Control D. You see over here Shift Control D, and you actually see that everything is transparent, including the artboard and what's outside the artboard. Okay. So, I am going to hide the transparency grid now. Press it again. Because we want to see this because it will be easier to teach class this way. <laughs> okay? Fair enough. Now, the uh, size of the artboard, there's a million different ways of messing with artboards. Okay? Right now we have this as 500 point by 500 points. Okay? Um, if I want to change this, change the size, all of the kind of stuff, there's a couple different ways to do that. One is I can go up here to Document Setup, which every time I have this black on the Selection tool, I'm always going to see this Document Setup. I can press it, okay, and then there's an Edit Artboards button right here, okay, and suddenly you can edit the artboard. You edit the artboard couple different ways. The major way is to select the corners. All right, you see that? And I can drag it. If you look, because I have the feature open, I can see that the width is 619 and the height, if you can see it, is 500. Okay? Now every time we do this, this is really important, um, we need to get knowing about the undo key, which is control Z. Okay? It's control Z. So I'm going to control Z it. Undo it. Okay? Then I can do the same with the negative space. Control Z that. Now, when you mess around with this, you see that um, it can shape any size. One thing about artboards and anything, whether it's, um, you know, when it comes to a lot of this stuff, all right, let's let's go look at me for a second. When, when it comes to a lot of this stuff, okay, um, the size of it really matters. Okay, so you got squares, rectangles, and everything. And a lot of times, you want to keep that square. You want to keep that shape of rectangles. Keep that keep that shape of the circle. Keep the, the angles of your trapezoids, whatever it happens to be, okay? So the shift key, okay, is going to be really important. Let me demonstrate, all right? So if I hold down the shift key while I'm doing this, okay, here's what happens if I don't 
hold down the shift key. I can do whatever I want. Okay? To hold down the shift key, it keeps its shape. You see that? So I can always keep it a square no matter what size it is. You're going to find that that's going to be a very useful tool throughout your process of learning Adobe Illustrator. As learning that shift key's existence and keeping at what's called the aspect ratio. The ratio that you've decided needs to be for that object. The same throughout your designs. Okay? And your airports, obviously. So, uh, that's how you do that. Now, the other way of doing this um, is... I press this to get out of it, which is the selection two, which is uh, V, okay? Is uh, there's this artboard tool, okay? Boom. There's the artboard tool. And the artboard tool does the same thing as the other as the document setup. It's, actually, it's a little extra. Now, the artboard tool also has a shift key, which is shift zero. All right? Shift, no, not shift zero, ha, shift O, O, the letter O, shift the letter O will bring you to the artboards, okay, so shift the letter O, alright, so, that's basically in a nutshell how to modify and move around your artboards, now keep in mind also when you do that you can actually move around your artboard too, anything within the artboard can be moved, now watch this, I have a uh, a black box here. Okay. Now, as you notice, it's a little outside the uh, artboard, and some of it's inside the artboard. Okay. Now, there's a really key thing to mention about artboards when it comes to this. Okay. So, if you notice, it's inside the artboard. So, when I take this artboard and I move it, the object moves with it. Okay. And you realize, obviously, if you put it within the artboard, it does the same thing. Now, what people don't realize is if I take this object, okay, copy and paste this. I have two objects here, one that's outside of the artboard. Now, I may actually like that object that's out there on the left. I might want to keep that there, okay? But if I move this artboard, it's only going to move what's inside the artboard. And if I move it a little bit to the left, what's it going to do? Boom! It's actually going to put that object that was outside the artboard and put it inside the artboard because it's not moving with it. So uh, be aware of what's inside and outside the artboard, especially if you're moving around artboards. All right? So let's undo that. All right. So there's that. Very, very, very cool. All right. Um, now... One thing about this is that you know that we can save this and everything, right? So let me save this for a second. I'm going to save it as um, test artboards. Okay. So if I take this and move it over here, you notice that well, how I saved it. I'm going to copy and paste it. And I'm going to copy and paste it and do all sorts of cool stuff. It's great. Oh, this is awesome. You know what? I hate it. Can I go back to my original? Yes, you can. The best way to do that is to go press the reverse key. It's, it was another undo function. Okay. So file F12. Okay. Which is revert. Are you sure? When you revert, you can't go back. Okay. But it's still a really cool function. All right. So revert. It will go back to the original saved document. Easy peasy. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to go to document setup, edit artboards. All sorts of cool little buttons. First, what we want to do is we want to look over here, which is the artboard window. Okay. A couple of different ways you go to window you'll see that there's an artboard thing right here you see it okay I can press that I also have it in the sidebar over here okay let's drag this out so we can look at it a little better okay. 
even gonna zoom in a little bit. Let's zoom in. Okay. So there's the artboard. Okay. Now when you there's one thing I wanted to show you. I've got artboard one. You can change the name of every single artboard. So art one. You can also go in here and go to artboard options. Okay? And a lot of the options that you're going to see up here um, are going to be functions in here where I can actually name if I want to change reference points for my sizes. So if I want to go over here and make it 700, it'll actually make it 700 from the bottom. See that? It'll make it 700 from the bottom. Let me zoom out a little bit here so you can see the whole thing. Okay? You can zoom out a little bit here. Okay? You can name your artboard. If I change it, it'll actually make those changes from the bottom reference point. Okay? I can constrain proportions. Remember I was talking about the shift key, constrain proportions. Change the orientation from landscape to, uh, to horizontal. Right now it's, um, it's horizontal right now, landscape, and then we've got the tall. Okay? So, uh, we can display, show center marks, crosshairs, all sorts of cool, show video safe errors, you've been working for, with videos. Um, I can show that in later, that's a little bit more advanced stuff for right now. Um, let's go ahead and press OK. You'll notice that it's no longer square, it is now uh, a rectangle, 700 width instead of 500. Okay. So I'm going to take the reference point. Let me zoom out a little bit more. You can see it. All right. There, are, the reference points are also if you want to do it directly from it. It's right up here. So if I want to take it here, take the width back to 500, take the height to 700, I can. All right. I'm here. I'm going to double click on this artboard here. If you double click on the artboard, by the way, it's going to zoom out to the entire artboard. Very useful, by the way. Control zero does the same thing. Control zero. Okay? Now, um, if I want to duplicate this artboard, I like this work. I just want to duplicate exactly what's in it. Um, I can go into artboards, select the artboard I want to duplicate, and say duplicate. Boom. I now have a second artboard. Okay. Um, I can do that again. Duplicate the one that's selected. Now, if you see the one on the left right here is the one selected. That's the one I'm duplicating. Okay. You also see that it's here. So whatever one I have selected is the one I'm duplicating. One. All right, I want to see all these artboards, so I'm going to press Control Alt Zero. Control Alt Zero will let me see all the artboards I have selected. Control Alt Zero, okay? I have all the artboards out here. It's really cool, all right? But uh, let's say that I want to see these artboards a little differently. Let's rearrange these artboards, okay? Rearrange these artboards. So. I can go into here, and there's a button that says rearrange the artboards. Okay. So I got this, and press the button. And it's going to allow me some different options. So let's zoom in a little bit here. You can see some of these options. I have um, this layout, which is uh, left to right. This is up and down. This is only left to right and only up and down. So this puts it in columns. So columns, left to right, columns up to down, only left, only up and down. Okay? Arrange by row, arrange by columns. Okay? So now, 
what I want to do is I want to say that I just want two columns and I want the spacing. Remember, I can put whatever I want. So I'm going to say 0 0.5 inches because I think inches is the better word to use right now. Okay, which is 36 points. So I'm going to say okay. Boom. If you look, it arranged it exactly the how I wanted it, which was um, arranging it in rows, putting it into two columns, uh, so that I can see it the way that I want to see these uh, these artboards. Okay. Fair enough. Now, next thing I want to do is I want to show you the ruler function. So I'm going to press Control Zero, which is going to put me on the this one artboard, which is the third artboard, right? One, two, three. I'm going to press Control R, Control R, which is the ruler function, the ruler function. Okay. Um, if I go here, I can see it here too. You see that? Ruler function. Ruler function pulls out this great little thing. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see it. Window. Ruler. Okay. So, these rulers from here, they're in the center mark right now. Okay, we're going to change that. If I click over here and drag it, I can change where that ruler starts. So you see, a little hard to see, but that's a zero here and a zero here because I started here. If I want to change that ruler mark, I can change it to here. And you'll find this ruler mark to be very, very, very cool. Now, um, when you're trying to measure things and trying to figure out exactly how you want to lay it out. Now, I can right click this ruler and change what it is. So you got points, picas, inches, millimeters, centimeters, and pixels. So I'll click inches, which we're all used to. I'm going to put this in the center. Watch. I can drag from the center and put this at a half an inch. I don't even see it, but this is now at a half an inch. Now I have a line that I can use as a reference at a half an inch. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Boom, half an inch. Awesome. Okay. So now I've got these references to make sure that it's a half an inch from each side. And look, I can link what I just designed directly to it. All right. Uh, Really cool. Um, you're going to use a lot of these features over and over and over again. Um, and uh, I want you to keep uh, practicing, showing, making new artboards, making new stuff. If anything that I say is things, uh, please message me. Let me know uh, if you have any suggestions. If you have any input of what I just told you, uh, let me know. All right. Uh, again, I'm Lyle Dilly, teaching illustrator here. All right. We're going to keep working at it. All right. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys later.